the presenter. And you are now the presenter. And Tracy, it is all yours. Great. Thanks so much, um, Michael. All right. Hopefully everybody can see my screen. Um, what I thought we'd do today, we have about 50 minutes because we do want to leave a little time for everyone to ask questions. So today we're really going to do kind of a high-level overview. I know that some of you probably know us and some of you don't. So today is going to be more about who we are and what we do and how we may be able to help you. Um, and we won't dive too deeply into features and functionality, but we will give you a brief overview on three major components so that we can cover the bases for those that are on the webinar today. And um, to really explain who we see it, we suite is and what we do, um, we really are someone, to, a company or a software company, and we focus on sales management software. We really have products that are available for any kind of sales user, any kind of sale that you're making. Um, if you're a residential uh, type of company, you're selling to residential company uh, customers and small commercial, we've got something that fits that bill. If you're commercial sales, we've got that. If you do complex integrated sales, no problem. And around everything, we provide full sales intelligence which is often one of the, the biggest things we hear out there where people are really missing active sales intelligence so they can be proactive within their business. The first product, and if we kind of look at the umbrella, so we're going to go from contact to contract, is called We Opportunity. We Opportunity is a mobile application. It is a URL-based application, so it works on a laptop, a tablet, an iPad, even your smartphone. Um, it's really a terrific product. It's got um, the ways to go ahead and record leads and distribute leads, do sales prospecting, so you can actually create prospect plans and uh, track straight through from the activity levels that you've performed to actually winning your sales. So you'll know which activities have produced a winning sale. Um, it also is a great place to record appointments and go back and things like that. So if you sold something today and you want to be in touch with that customer, you can just go ahead and create an event for yourself in We Opportunity. It has a Microsoft Outlook sync. It has a contact sync with Microsoft Outlook. And we also have a sync with Google. So those of you who are using Google Mail. We also have mapping and directions there. And uh, we have done a uh, integration with your Sedona Office database. So you can actually see your customers and contacts from Sedona Office within We Opportunity. Um, secondly, We Estimate. We Estimate is kind of the, I would call that the core product uh, for quoting and proposal management and contract management. For those who are doing residential and small commercial sales where you sell packages all the time and you need a one cost close, you would use We Estimate, but in the background you'd have Quote Anywhere. Um, or I'm sorry, actually the foreground would be Quote Anywhere, and the background would be We Estimate. So we'll go ahead and show you um, quickly how that works today. And then We Estimate is also for those of you who do complex integrated sales where you have different needs. You may do finance and lease kind of sales. You may do um, complicated sales that need approvals that are automated. You may need to um, have fixed price contracts such as GSA or other corporate type contracts where you've got to make sure that you're selling things at the correct pricing. We have to this all about that. And our products are fully integrated with Sedona Office. So one of the things that I think you'll really see is a huge way of saving time, resources, and mistakes um, is to use us, contact to contract, and move right into Sedona Office. Finally, um, we're really here to manage workflow and help you with your workflow. So everything from leads all the way through bookings. And then if you're using us with Sedona Office, we've got a total solution to offer. Um, one other thing that we hear all the time is people are very, very interested in how they can do better with sales reporting. So without further 
to do because we've got um, a lot to handle within this one hour time frame. I'm going to go right into We Opportunity. I'm going to take a look there um, and show you how We Opportunity works. I did mention it's a URL based product, and so for our clients, what we do is we typically provide them um, a vanity URL. It will basically be your company name, and that way your users just click on that icon or that URL and boom, they're right into We Opportunity from wherever they are. Um, so today, what we're going to do, again, high-level overview. And what you're going to see in just a few seconds here, this is a combined desktop that you're seeing. So I'm, seeing, I'm showing you not only We Opportunity, but also Quote Anywhere. I'll walk you through that in just a few minutes. But one of the nice things here is I've got my auto sync right here. So I can see the tasks that I have due. I've got even a report on any lead that I haven't touched. So if I haven't touched a lead in a certain period of time, I'm actually going to get a report for it right there. And then I can also specify the opportunities that I'd like to see just right here on my dashboard. I'm also given a lot of statistics for my sales so I can actually see how I'm doing. Whether I'm RMR based or I am outright sale based or a little bit of both will give that all to you. And then finally, you're going to get opportunity statistics. And again, you specify the time frames that you'd like to see. We give you the data on how you're doing. All right? So today what I thought I'd do, just again, we're, we're uh, kind of wetting the whistle here and the appetite and uh, not going to take a really deep dive. But at least I wanted to show you how easy it is to create a lead and pass it to a sales team or a sales person. I'm going to go ahead and create a lead called Craig's Coffee. Um, when I search, this is an automatic search right now on Sedona Office and We Suite. So if this customer has existed before in our database and in Sedona Office, you've got it right here. And this orange highlight shows me that this is an existing customer in the Sedona Office database, and it has been used before by We Estimate or We Suite. I'm going to go ahead. The caller that's with me is from Trooper Road. So I'm just going to select that. And by the way, we show you any existing leads that we might have for that particular customer. And if you wanted to, you could open that and see what it's all about. You can also add notes without ever opening that lead. It's a very convenient way to uh, go ahead and keep things going, especially when you've got salespeople that need to be fed important information. The first thing I want to do when I record lead information is, of course, get down any of the uh, customer and location information. That's automatically filled because this was an existing customer. And then if I've got a name from this particular location, I would search it here and it would show up. In this case, it's not uh, existing, so I'm going to work with the customer to find out who they are, enter the information. But I only have to do this once. This will be stored in their database, and next time they'll be there. Um, when they call again. Again, we've also got all of your social media here, so if you want to um, get, a lot of us are now following and getting leads from LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter, and so we can also follow our customers in that regard. I can also just copy if the data, you know, here on the, the left, the address is the same as this person's on the right. I just hit the copy button or vice versa. Finally, I'm just going to record phone number, and again, um, anything that I, I need to record could also be the required field. So if your company has certain things that you want to make sure that somebody gets when they're recording new lead information, we can make any of these required fields. Go ahead and continue. And here we want to capture vital information. So again, I'm in Lead Center. I'm not really a salesperson. I'm sending information to that salesperson. You can have any number of different questionnaires to help guide the process of asking a prospect what it is that they really need. Okay, so you can set up these questionnaires and ask the questions, record the answers, and then this information will also be passed to a uh, salesperson so they can work on this. So they need, you know, increased security, something like that. Lead origin is how did this come to me? So this is really important information, and this is a drop-down that you actually will um, make your own. So a lot of people will put in kind of the, the 
labels you see here, it could be a self-generated. We want to know how did this lead come to us. Lead source is the marketing effort. So if this is a current customer, it can say that. But if, again, all these drop downs are customized by you, and so they really are going to be in accordance with your business. This is a restaurant, so we'll use that. And then again, these pieces of information are required for me, the rest are not. So if I don't have time or this person doesn't want to, you know, give me any more information, I can simply end here. I can make a few notes. So let's say that um, this says, please call and confirm appointment today. Okay? Products and services, if they tell me what they're interested in, I can go ahead and I can record those. As an appointment, again, we've got the uh, Outlook calendar sync. And what it's doing right now is reading all the people who are in the White Plains office. So if this person wants to go ahead and set up a, a particular appointment, all I have to do is click on a date, and I can go ahead and I can assign a point, an appointment. So let's say that they want to meet at you know, 4 p.m. or something like that. So I can go ahead and find, let's do 3 p.m. and say meet at, okay, I can pick the salesperson. And what's interesting is we'll actually check their calendar to see if they're available. And that way you know that this is a clean appointment. You can go ahead and assign it. And then save it. So now this appointment is all set to go to Jack. And once we pass the lead, then that person, Jack Shepard, is going to go ahead and get that lead. And in his case, maybe he's a manager. He can go ahead and keep that lead, or he may be able to assign it to someone else if he wants to. So that's how you record and pass leads. I just wanted to give that as a, a general overview. A couple other high points here. For salespeople, we've got on board what we call maps. And by the way, there's, this is an important one to take a look at. So Jack just got a template to email that also gives him all the information that we just recorded. So if he's on the road, he can read this on his email. He can also click right in and go into We Opportunity and get started on uh, managing that leader opportunity. Okay. We also have on board maps, and this is kind of a neat uh, feature. If you're on the road, and, and most of our sales teams are, maybe you've got a, an hour to kill here or there. Something opened up on your calendar, so you might want to say, "Hey, you know, I've got a couple leads. Maybe I can go and visit one of those while I'm out here." So we can filter, and then we can go ahead and we can take a look at any of them that are that are here. In this case. Green Valley Transit, and by the way, they've got two different leads that we're working on, so I can look at both of them. I could give this guy a call, and I can get directions to where he is, and then go ahead and uh, give him a call and go visit him and fill up that time that I had between appointments. So again, everything that we're trying to do now is to keep our sales force going, motivated to record information and use the software to promote themselves to be better salespeople. Salespeople are going to be in lead management, okay? So they would have a, a much more simplified um, panel here. Um, if you're somebody who can assign a lead, you can take a look at a lead, but simply drag and drop it to the person you want to assign it to, and you'll be able to assign it along with an email that goes to that person that um, tells them what this is about. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that just to save a little time. Also, sales managers sometimes need to assign leads to themselves. So that's really easy. You can just drag and drop it to yourself. And that way, you can follow up on it and then qualify it. And if you need to, go ahead and pass it to a salesperson. If I look at um, a lead in general, I just open it. And the entire object, again, so here's um, questions and answers from the, the questionnaire. I can add products and services. I can share it with someone else. I can determine how far I am into my pipeline. So I can actually record that. I can record other dates. I can also record notes, create tasks and schedules. And again, we're fully um, integrated with Outlook. And so if I come down to a particular calendar and I want to add an appointment here, it will again allow me to do a few things. I can uh, create an an appointment for myself. I can include other people within that appointment. I can message people from within 
each uh, opportunity. And I can also see history. So I can see exactly who's done what and when. You can also add contacts and locations. So if I want an added contact, I can actually, uh, again, if you're using Exchange, even import an Outlook contact directly from your Outlook. No more need to use vCards. That's only if you're not using an Exchange server. So again, just to keep this kind of brief and high level, two more things I'll show you before we move on. Global schedule is actually a really convenient thing. What we're finding is our users are actually managing everything they do from We Opportunity rather than from Outlook. Now you can go either way, it's not a problem. If you've created something in Outlook, it will automatically come to your calendar within We Opportunity. If you've created something in We Opportunity, it'll go to your Outlook, no problem. If you delete it from Outlook, it'll delete in We App. If you delete it from We App, it'll delete in Outlook. So it's really a true thing. The other thing you can do is if you wanted to as a manager or somebody who shares with others, you can go ahead and um, take a look at any of their appointments. So it's a really nice way to actually come in and if there's a leader opportunity associated, you can actually open it from here as well. You can also include recurring appointments. So if you need to schedule a sales meeting that happens every week, you can go ahead and do that from here as well. One other really um, important thing, and, and for those of, of you who are We Estimate and We Suite users right now, we've just converted the uh, URG that's in We Estimate, which is called the Universal Report Grid, so that you can actually see it in We Opportunity as well. So we're porting more and more of our products over to um, Be Mobile for you, even the more complex quoting side. So you'll be able to quote from anywhere. Um, I just want to make sure that everybody can still hear me. Okay, good. <laughs> Someone mentioned they couldn't hear me, so hopefully you can. Um, another thing here on the, the Universal Report Grid is an easy way for you to get the information you need as you're creating leads and opportunities. This is available to salespeople, sales management, executive management. So what we do here is we have filters. You can filter by specific date range, time, uh, such as weekly, monthly, quarterly, whatever works for your sales team. And the other thing is you can filter on either a last update date, a created date, or a sold date. And then you can filter on specific stages of leads and opportunities. You can include entire offices, individual people, and we can create and name views. So you can actually organize data the way you'd like to, and then every time you come into the application, you'll start to see the views of data that you need. So up top, I've got everything arranged by month, then salesperson, then status. I can easily shift and sort um, on each of these. So I can get as granular, granular as I'd like to. Um, up here we've got a summary. You can export it to Excel. But the bottom graph is actually extremely detailed. So what I did was I wanted to see my customer part by name, then the lead source, and then my salespeople. So I've saved that view, and every time I come in, this is the first view I, I actually get to see. We also are reporting back. So if you've got a lead that started here and you've created an estimate in We Estimate, the job number is actually reporting back. So you've got to tie all the way through your sales process, including when you sell the job, we actually report the actual sale amount and the actual RMR amount back into this grid. So you truly do have all the information you need from lead to close. You can also, when you name and save views, decide what are the different types of columns of information you want to see on any of your reports. So you see you've got a ton of different types of information here. All you have to do is decide what you want to see, in what order, and then name and save those views. Okay, so very, very simple and easy. Last thing we're going to go through here today is one more bit on some of the canned quote unquote canned reports we do. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that's nice here is we've got a lot of people who are really interested, for instance, in 
lead source. You know, where are all these leads coming from? So I've done a sort on a whole year, and I'm going to look at every office under this particular region. And immediately I can see the total number of leads I've gotten, and then I can also see how many from each source. So we've got a lot of people out there who are trying to see the effectiveness of the various lead sources they've got. And this is a quick and easy way to see that. Some of the other things that you can do is leads by market, sales type, lead origin. And then we've got a number of other dashboards um, and reports that you can see there. Just to give you a brief look ahead for what we're doing, um, We Opportunity is one of those products that is in motion. We've got a lot of great plans for We Opportunity, and a lot of things are, um, are happening today. So we've got uh, a prospecting module that's coming out within the next two weeks that will allow you to create prospecting plans for your sales team where they actually can create activities, they can uh, record meetings, and you'll know for every activity you've performed how many meetings you've gotten and how those things feed your quotas, how you can boost quotas for the next period of time, monthly, quarterly, annually. You'll actually have data that tells you true results based on the activities that you've performed. Uh, we're really excited about this. We're getting a lot of good feedback from our current clients who um, contribute largely, just like a Sedona office, to the enhancements that we actually put out. We also have added a telemarketing dashboard, so you'll be able to quickly record an activity without ever you know, going through the whole process of creating a lead. There's a button you can press, create the lead, set notes, create reminders, and that way you can do things kind of on the fly to, again, enhance Salesforce mobility. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move into we estimate because I think that we've got um, a few people who are on this call as well who are um, integrators. Uh, before I do that, you know what, let me... Let me just show you briefly what Code Anywhere does, because we're at this dashboard. So this is real fast and um, something we're pretty proud of. I think this is really something that we've seen the market react to quite nicely. If I'm using We Opportunity with Code Anywhere, so Quote Anywhere is going to let me quote in front of the customer, package type sales, sign those sales, and we're done. We can go sell another one. So let's say that I've got a particular appointment, um, maybe this one. It's waiting for me from uh, We Opportunity. And again, we've got that integration with Sedona Office right here. So if I pick the customer, um, Advanced Construction, it's already here. I can go ahead and pick a site and a billing. Um, then let's just pick one here. Go back. I want to pick one that already has uh, site and billing selected in that way. That's easier for me. Okay. So I, all I need here is I've got this customer. I need a site and a billing. So I'm just going to look for a checkbox here. I'm going to make it easy on me, aren't you? There we go. So here's my site. Here's my billing. And then um, let's go ahead and pick this one. And then a, a contact. So let's say it's Tom. All right. Now, I could do this ahead of meeting the customer if I wanted to. The next thing I'm going to do is just pick the package that this customer is interested in. So I've probably done a little bit of a presentation prior to actually jumping in and, and quoting. The package is for $199. All the items that you see, so we've got a picture of each, and we've got verification that these items are included in this package. Um, you can have optional pieces of equipment as well. So if it wasn't included, it would say no, but it would show it as an option. If there's something that you say as you're talking with the client, they want you know, an additional glass break, for instance, you can go ahead and say, okay, we need two more. and. Uh, so you can say locate one in office window and you know two in, I don't know, let's say lobby. So you can add notes as you go. But what's interesting is that when you add something outside of the package, it's going to come in at full retail price. 
okay? The RMR is already included, and again, you can have optional recurring services. You can quote more packages more than one at a time. You can also search within We Estimate for additional parts, and you can add more packages. And we do have a secret button for discounts. So uh, we don't label it as a discount, because you probably don't want to give one unless you have to. <laughs> so we've got some discount buttons there, too. But once you're ready, you basically save the package. We've got our new pricing. You go right into contract. So I'm going to go right to my contracts. And the contracts are already going to be presented because they're associated to the package. The subscriber can now enter the signing room. This is uh, eOriginal. It's fully integrated and on board. So the signer simply enters, provides their consent. OK, so they read all the fine print. They provide their consent. We're presented with their signature. They OK that. And they start the signing process. So once they've clicked through, and you could have multiple documents if you needed to here. So he's signing the second one. Once they've clicked through and applied their signature, two things can happen. The salesperson, if they're the next one up to sign, will be able to sign. You're going to see these things go green in just a second, validating that they've signed. Um, but also, the workflow could be such that maybe somebody in the office needs to sign. So the workflow could be a notification that's automated that this subscriber is actually in the signing room. And that way, somebody from the office can sign as well. We've also added that you can send an invitation to someone. So if you're going to provide a quote and you want somebody to enter the signing room and sign, you can do that as well. So very quick overview on uh, Quote Anywhere. Just to validate that um, everything that you do in Quote Anywhere is automatically in We Estimate. So it's really easy when you win that job, like we've just had this signed and the, you know, the dealer signs, then automatically whoever needs to do the transfer into Sedona office, they can do that in the office, no problem. Okay. So that was item number two. We wanted to do a We Opportunity Overview, a Quote Anywhere Overview, and now I'm going to shift into uh, We Estimate. So again, the goal here is to kind of cover the bases with each of you because you all might quote a little bit differently. So just to say, you know, again, we can handle that small um, uh, type of sale, more simple type of sale, and we can handle medium size, and of course, we can handle complex. For any of you who are using We Opportunity and you actually turn an opportunity into what we call request for quote. Uh, it will actually reside here in We Estimate. So you can go right into We Estimate and you can start the actual estimate itself. Okay? For those who are using We Estimate, they typically are people that are um, needing to provide a quote from their desktop. And again, this can be a very simple sale. You might do a lot of sales on the phone. So We Estimate is a perfect product for that. You could do package type sales and just Basically, drag, drag and drop a package in, create the document, and email it right out to your client. Um, for those of you who are doing something more complex, the first thing you'll do here is name a folder. I'm just going to do a quick um, sample. So let's say we've got an access control and a, a CCTV type job. I can create as many folders as I want. I'm going to directly search on my Sedona Office Parts database. And this is a Google-like search. So I can say camera color and go. And then I can just find the camera I want. I can even just put in the, the part number if I know it. I could put in Bosch. So again, Google-like search. You put in what suits you and find the data. Drag and drop. And our bill of materials is going to build below. Everything you see here is customizable right to the user. So you can customize what your people see and what they can do. I'm just going to drag a few more parts in, and you're going to notice is as I do that, our numbers for our sale are changing. In my system right now, I'm set up to be something that's already got a gross profit margin on parts. There could be some burdens in the background. For those of you who work from cost up, not a problem. You'll see your cost and your sell will match. 
And then we even have a handy gadget to go ahead and specify the sale price or the gross profit margin to get you where you want to go. So the other things I'll do, I'm just going to go ahead and add um, a chargeable item. And this is a direct read from Sedona Office. So I can go ahead and bring that in. I can specify the price if I'd like to. And again, that will now go just onto my job. And when I win this proposal, this will go right into Sedona Office because it's actually come from there. You could set up these same items within um, We Estimate if you'd like to. And some of the reasons to do that is we have um, a feature where you could actually have uh, an RMR or a chargeable item as something that's a percentage of something else. Um, easy enough to do. And for those of you who want to do that, it's fine. We map them right into Sedona Office. So not a problem when you win that job. I just added RMR. One of the things that you can do is also specify the term. The term, the recurring revenue, the billing frequency, all of this tra travels into the donor office when you win the job. I'm just going to add a couple of parts to my access control. So again, I'll just uh, I'll get a card reader in here. And then I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to make an actual quote. I just add a few parts and pieces here. OK, drag and drop. For those of you who need to add labor, I'm actually pulling the labor straight out of my Sedona Office database. So it's actually associated uh, to the parts in Sedona Office. You have options. You can actually add labor at the part level, and you can add any kind of labor you'd like to. Another option is you can go to our labor grid, and you can have additional overtime labor, all different types of labor. But what's neat here is I'm actually applying my labor at the folder level. So when I need to have my operations team understand what it is that I sold, it's already broken down. They have a really easy time of understanding what it is the salesperson was uh, planning for them. Um, and there is a report included that would actually give you the entire summary cost and sell for operations on what this job is all about, including special notes that you might not want to share with a customer. You also have a customer report that would be just the same, only no cost and sell data. So if you need to go to the job site, bring that one with you. A um, couple other things, and then we'll go ahead and move on. Um, for those of you who do need to quote wire by the foot, we do have a way to handle that. And for those who do want to specify, let's say that we know this client has $18,000 or $20,000 budget, I can easily just move this up, re, you know, revise my sell price, say that I want to split that evenly between material and labor, or I know that it's better for me to put more of it toward labor. So I'm going to put 80% of the change toward labor, recalculate it, and we're going to get to the sell price number here, and of course a revised gross profit margin. So just to show you now, you can go and revise price or GP on the fly. Let's create a document. I'm going to add a quote package. Um, all I'm doing here is seeing that this is the title. I can change that if I'd like or keep it. And now I'm simply going to check the pages of the documents that I want to provide to this customer. Now we can default all the check boxes here so you don't even have to select them. Or even if we default them, you can go ahead and uh, check or recheck, uncheck, recheck, whatever you'd like. <laughs> to be sure that you're sending the proposal documents that you really want to show the customer. Also, pricing breakouts. For those who are integrators that need complex price breakouts, line item, labor, charge items, we've got that all covered here. If you want something simple, it's not a problem. We can simply um, revise this to be you know, just line item, bill of materials, and labor, something like that, lump sum. OK. Um, I can create a scope of work. I can use templates. On my cover letter, the same thing. So you can use templates that basically allow you to write and reuse any type of scope of work that you'd want to. That's really handy for most salespeople. Um, they basically can come in and create a template for CCTV, one for access control, um, anything you'd like to. 
and then reuse those, and that way you're not typing uh, the same thing over and over again. Finally, on pricing, we've got um, a display of either showing the equipment and the quantity and description only. We can sort by any of these in sending order, descending order, whatever we'd like, and we can present even just a lump sum. So if I want to show just a total system investment, I can do that. You can also, for those of you that have a lot of exclusions and clarifications, and that can be a really determining factor for people, you know, in terms of making the profit that you'd like to. We can exclude everything that's on this list, and you can come up with your own list. That's no problem. And then dynamically include it just based on whatever you check off. And then, of course, what's my term and what's my deposit? That way, when you generate your, do your actual document, you can go ahead and um, present pricing any way you'd like to. Okay. So again, the quote that we produce and the document we produce is specific to you. We actually take your documents and create uh, the document itself. Okay. So here's my inclusions and my exclusions. These were all excluded. I've just included two items. And then finally, my pricing page. All right. You can also include contracts. So if you'd like to send a contract out at the same time that you're sending a proposal, that's fine. We actually will autofill contract information. And again, if I want to uh, send that out by email, I can easily do that, sending all three items if I'd like, or only one or two items if I'd like. I'm just going to flag this contract as sent or this proposal as sent because I want to show you that um, one of the last things here to show you is the reporting. So let's refresh this. And we're going to see that this job has been sent. It's in a negotiation stage. We will keep and archive this so that no longer are you worried about something that's saved in some location on your server that you don't know about or on a laptop that got away from you. Everything is recorded. You've got a, a history here that's yours. So your information is yours. You can easily create a revision, just go into the job, make the changes, send it back out. Okay? You can copy jobs. Uh, there's all kinds of neat things you can do there. Last thing we're going to end with here is just a little bit of reporting. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select a few people that I'd like to see uh, some reporting on. I'm going to do a filter. So what I want to do is filter on the year, and I'm going to filter between dates. Let's just say I want to see everything from June 1st until now. And I'm also going to filter on the stage. I want to see everything that's in negotiation for the people that I've got up here. And I want to see that this data in a particular order. So I've saved a view. So now, right at my fingertips, I know I've got $463,000 worth of, of work out there, 18 quotes. That I really want to get closed. And I can sort them by salesperson. I can sort them by customer. So now I can sit here and I can work with each of my salespeople to really understand, hey, what can I do to help you to get this closed? Salespeople too. So this is a great way to understand what it is that you've got on your plate that you want to close. You can also change the filters and say, hmm, what have I won? So if I want to see everything I won, I've got that at my fingertips as well. All of this can be exported to Excel just with one easy click. Um, but this reporting is invaluable. This is what puts you in the driver's seat because now you're proactively managing what you're doing on the sales side. You're no longer waiting for you know, five different people to put together eight different Excels, much of which is incorrect data or it's old data by the time you get it. We've got also some canned reports, um, but one of the key values here is the reporting we provide to you again for you know real sales intelligence. So I want to make sure that we've left uh, enough time here for questions that you might have, and um, so I'm just going to stop myself. I uh, just want to be sure we all have seen we opportunity quote anywhere and we estimate. Um, and understand that uh, actually changing something, getting it into Sedona office is really simple and easy as well. 
um, that is something that if you wanted to see it, we could do that as well. Otherwise, let's just open this up and see if we've got any questions right now. Thank you, Tracy. That was great. Why don't you take a minute and maybe just do a high-end, without showing, overview of the integration with Sedona Office. Love to. Um, so our integration, we're really proud of this integration. This integration is a very tight integration. We are able to, during the lead and quote development process, read customers, site billing, and contact information from Sedona Office. So on the lead side, all of that. As you create a quote, we read your part from Sedona Office. You are not copying databases. It's a real-time lookup on parts in Sedona Office. If there's a part that doesn't exist there, you can add one on the fly here. But you're not adding it to your database. You're adding it to this quote. That way, if you win the, the job in the end, it is actually going to get flagged because, of course, we don't want that to go into the Sedona Office database unless it's vetted by somebody who knows you know, how to enter those parts correctly um, in Sedona Office. But once that part is in there, it's available next time for uh, quoting. Um, we also read RMR items. We read chargeable items. We read job types. Um, you can capture and record PO numbers in our system, and those will transfer to Sedona Office when a job is won. The sole salesperson, the sold date, even a commission amount. So if you handle any of your commissions in We Estimate, that commission amount also goes into Sedona Office. You can um, create test and inspection quotes, and you can determine, should I send that into Sedona Office as an RMR item or as a, an outright sale? Um, so labor items go into Sedona Office. There is it's just such a nice integration here, job notes. So if I add notes specific to a particular project in the sales process, those go into Sedona Office. The term of the RMR, the billing frequency, you'll see that you'll just save a ton of time and, um, and you'll get a, a closer operation between sales and the rest of your company with the integration. Great, Tracy. Approximately how many companies are using um, Sedona Office and WeSuite and um, your, your products right now? Just you know, an estimate or if you know the actual number. Yeah. Um, well, WeSuite is a relatively young company. Um, so we are five years old. I would say that uh, mutual customers, we probably have at least 50 mutual um, companies using both of our products. And WeSuite has about, um, I'd say, almost somewhere in the 80s total clients and probably more now than 3,000 users. That, that's great. So here, here's a few questions. I'm going to rattle them off. What devices and browsers um, is are the um, We Opportunity Quote Anywhere and We Estimate compatible with? Okay, great. Good question. Um, let's start with uh, the easy one. We Estimate is um, not a browser-based product, so We Estimate is something that will reside um, could reside on the Sedona Office Service server. So for those of you who are um, working with Sedona Office as a host, you can do that. Could reside on your server. Could reside on our server. But it is um, right now a. It is remote. You can dial into it using a VPN or other tunnel. Quote anywhere and We Opportunity are both written um, in a platform that allows any device as long as you're connected to the internet. So an iPad, a tablet, a laptop, even a smartphone. To me, that's a little bit small, but we got people that do that. Um, so we up and quote anywhere are available in all of those browsers. IE9 and higher, Firefox is fine. Um, those are the typical ones we hear out there. So either of those are fine. If you are doing Exchange Server, you need Exchange Server 2010 and higher. OK, here's the next question. I'm not sure where this was at, but can you create a map of the location? The map of the location. Um, 
I'm not sure if the question is something that is, do you mean a field device, like where the field device is being located? We don't have mapping like that available right now. You can specify the location of the device if that's what the question is about. We are working on um, a really neat module that will allow you to actually perform a survey in the field. So actually create a survey, um, draw the location, or use a Google map, for instance, um, create icons that represent equipment, and actually build a bill of materials as you go. It's not out. It's in development right now. So maybe that's two ways to answer that question, <laughs> not knowing which way I should go there. Well, Tracy, I'll give you a list of all the people who asked you so you could follow with them individually to make sure you got it correctly. Um, Great. The next one was, is there an ability to print preview in We Estimate? The, I guess that's yes. the proposal. Yes. Uh huh. So when you create a proposal, you can do different things. Um, and you actually have user rights. You can allow or disallow somebody to email. You can definitely print preview, and you can print it um, to a local printer. Um, everything is done in a PDF, you know, so when you email it to somebody, it's in a PDF. Excellent. Okay. Um, I think we answered that one. Um, someone asked um, how can you show how a job gets set up in Stone Office, and I know that takes some time. So um, if anybody wants a, a further demonstration, Tracy, or more information, why don't you give out your contact information now. We'll also email everyone who attended that as well, but why don't you go ahead and give that out so people can get a hold of you. And, you know, things like that, you can do, you know, more thorough and follow-up and more detailed demonstrations. Absolutely. Um, so my direct email is Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y dot Larson, L-A-R-S-O-N at WeSuite.com. You also can uh, email us at info at wesuite.com or Rachel, Rachel Whiting. Uh, Rachel is Rachel, R A C H E L dot Whiting, W H I T I N G at wesuite.com. Also, just a brief word you know, we are also sponsoring a track at the uh, conference, at the user conference. And we really are encouraging people to come to this track. It's going to be great. We are diving into all of our products. One of the things we hear all the time from our users is they love when they get together because we really can take um, any view we want to. So high level right down to the sands on the beach, the grains of sand on the beach. And for anyone who's considering use of the products or is a user, it promises to be a great track to follow. Um, even if you're just starting out or considering, um, we promise the fog will clear as you go on. So <laughs> um, I'm with Michael. Get those registrations in and get that $100 savings and um, come visit with us at the user conference. It's going to be really good. And you would probably allow someone to use their $500 as a discount if they purchased WeSuite um, products, wouldn't you? Yeah, we would do that. And I we, kind of put you on the spot on that one, so. You knew I'd that. say yes to that one. <laughs> <laughs> are, um, are people replacing Exchange Server uh, with We Opportunity and, and, and say something like Google Calendar? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that. We're seeing that um, one of the problems that people have out there is they're, they're in too many systems. And so We Opportunity gives them the, the advantage of being able to look at calendars and events um, from within we opportunity and not have to go into various systems and we did do that thing with both Google and Exchange server so Outlook and Google are covered okay and um, last question unless someone else pops up one um, can we estimate or I don't know maybe we app or quote anywhere be open directly from within Sedona office Hmm. I'm curious as to why someone asked that question. Um, I, I hate to say it, but I don't know. know. I don't know either. <laughs> um, it's an interesting question. So whoever asked that, maybe get in touch with us. Um, let us know why you're curious about that. What we tend to see 
is that um, one of the things people really like is they can now have the correct users in each application. So your sales team and sales management, sales related people um, really are focused on the WeSuite products and anybody who's really supposed to be in, in Stone Office, meaning anyone from finance through, through operations, um, is really able to do that. We probably have a couple users that straddle both, um, like a project manager may sometimes need to take a look at something in WeEstimate and also do some work in Sedona Office. But um, to answer your question, no, uh, right now you cannot open um, our software directly from within Sedona Office or vice versa. Okay. And then um, a follow-up to that is, does the completed proposal show up on the subscriber from within Sedona Office? And um, I, I believe we can, we can uh, if, if we have the PDF, and they're using Sedona Docs, they can they can save that right within Sedona Office. Would that be correct, Tracy? You could. I think that as long as we know where that is, um, that is possible. Um, we haven't done a direct link on that uh, yet, um, but I think that it's more a matter of understanding where Sedona Docs information is being stored. The other thing, too, I would just add to that is that oftentimes we talk with you about workflow you may or may not want every proposal to be saved in that particular location. Within We Estimate, we obviously have copies of everything, and you can uh, save supporting documentation for any of the projects. So photos, um, you know, pricing that you've gotten from somewhere else, um, all of that can be saved to a specific location within We Estimate, and that way you've got your information, you know, whether it's been sold or not at your fingertips. Well, well Tracy, I want to thank you again for today. Um, just so everyone knows, just a real quick story. Um, it was about uh, oh, probably a good five years ago now when I first met Tracy, and she showed us the project they were working on, the Wii Suite. And what really intrigued us and really made us want to work with um, Wii Suite and Tracy's organization was that they were going to become, and they were just concentrating on the security industry for security alarm companies, systems integrators. And really that falls right into our wheelhouse. And a specialty company that's doing that is just invaluable. And um, it's been a great relationship we've had with Tracy. As she said, you know, 50 combined companies are already using the products, which is fantastic. Uh, many more to come. So if you're using it, you know, embrace it. If you're if you're not using it and you're looking for it, I, I, we, we really endorse it and um, say, you know, get a hold of Tracy. She's great to work with and she'll give you a great demonstration, show you the product. But most importantly, they're, they're constantly, just like we are, you know, updating the application, putting new features in to making it work with all the clients because not everyone's the same. And, it's never been a situation where you've had a customer who hasn't come up with new ideas or new ways to do things. So again, Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you everyone else for attending our webinar today and have a great day.